Hi there, welcome back. It's good to see you again. The topic of today's video and ebook are the top five traits of successful franchisees. This can certainly apply to franchisees as well as independent business owners. There's a great transfer of skills and attributes that will make each one of them successful. So let's dig into the top five. We got risk management, system orientation, coachability, affinity for hard work, and strong people skills. So, risk management. Believe it or not, people that engage in owning a business are not some wild and crazy uh, people with no risk sensibility whatsoever, nor are they extremely risk averse either. The best part of risk management is identifying what risk you're comfortable with and mitigating that risk. So you do your due diligence, your research and analysis, ask the right questions, identify the opportunities, the threats, do a SWOT analysis, understand the landscape of the business, the industry, and you mitigate your risk. Any business endeavor has inherently some degree of risk. It is extremely unlikely you're going to buy a business or start a business and have zero risk. That is greatly improbable. Um, so your goal is to mitigate the risk, manage your risk, and make it a calculated risk. Then after that, once you're in the business, you further mitigate that with some other attributes that you will bring to the table. For example, system orientation. Systems are very big in franchises, but they also apply to other businesses. Now, when I ran companies from the $5 million to $80 million range, I was big on systems, very big on it. I felt the more systems we had in place, easier it was to get the basic stuff done day to day. So if someone was off sick or not feeling well, they were replacing them for them, Everybody else could carry the day by following the systems. That person could plug and play into the process. Even when everybody's there, having regular systems for doing things makes people know down the chain, up the chain, what to expect. So if an anomaly happens, it's easier to catch. You come back and you grab that thing. Okay, you can call it internal quality control if you like, but it's a way of doing things, standardizing processes. So everybody knows what to expect, when to expect it how it should look, how it should feel, how it should taste, so to speak, makes a ship sale a whole lot easier. With that analogy, systems are very big in big companies. In the military, for example, very, very common. They're very successful. So if you're going to reinvent the wheel and go rogue, go for it. But generally speaking, systems help carry the day. Coachability. There's no such thing as a self-made millionaire. Everybody has somebody along the way somewhere, somehow, at some time, that taught them something, mentored them, had a kernel of knowledge to share with that person, to help along the way. Be open to ideas. The more unreceptive you are to being coached and ideas with other people, I strongly suggest the less secure you are, perhaps more of an ego problem you might have yourself. So not being coachable, you would look in the mirror to have a self-analysis, say, you know what's wrong with me? The coaching is fine. I need to change. By and large, the vast majority of times, people try to coach you. They're trying to insult or hurt your feelings or make a bad statement in your business. They're trying to move, move along with the ball down the road, go to the next level as easy as possible. So part of being coachable is reaching out to people to gain knowledge. It can be reading a book, watching a video, taking a webinar, uh, listening to people at a seminar, for example, taking tips away from that thing have a padded paper with you, making notes in a discussion, and applying that to your situation. Affinity for hard work. Whether you're a franchisee, you're an independent business owner, you start from scratch, buying a going concern, people work hard. A lot of times people see the duck theory. They see a duck at the top of the water, but they don't see the legs going 90 miles an hour below the surface of the water. Okay, Everybody's successful at some point in time in their life, worked extremely hard before you came to meet them or see what they're doing right now. They were not born as millionaires, multimillionaires, billionaires. Everybody struggled at some point in time. They worked hard, made mistakes, learned from that. They just dug back in. If they made a mistake, they pivoted, dug back in again, got after it. They were knocked down. They got back up and got back in the game and fought hard again to win at their business. So if you can't work hard, you better not be an employee even that could give you a hard time as well. So, summary so far. Risk management, system orientation, coachability, affinity for hard work, and the last one on our list is strong people skills. 
Generally speaking, in a business, franchise, or independent, you need to be effective the CEO of the business. You will not embrace every transaction possible. So you need to work with your employees, your suppliers, customers, move along the path, understand your vision, and work towards that vision as easy as possible. So there will be hiccups, of course, where mistakes happen. Learn from your mistakes, move forward, make a correction, your attitude, your development, how you answer problems, concerns, issues, how you receive praise and whatnot, you know, and you move forward in a very positive way. A lot of times it evolves. We hear something negative, perhaps, Take it the great assault, sit on it for a while before you reply, but if you have complaints online, for example, you reply to those fairly quick at some point in time. That's all our part of people skills. Get people on your side, on your team, seeing your vision, understanding your goals, how you plan on getting there, and move along. Risk management, system orientation, coachability, affinity for hard work, strong people skills. Enjoy the ebook today. We'll talk to you soon.